Okay, I did some more experimenting in uh, Blender, and I'm going to make a change to uh, our hull textures. Here's the saucer hull texture. Um, I haven't made uh, any changes to the texture itself. Uh, in other words, I haven't changed anything that we laid out, like the registry or the rust ring or any of the dirt streaks or anything like that. <clears throat> but I was messing around because... I thought that the <clears throat> texture that I showed you was doing what I want, kind of. It just was backwards. Uh, so if you'll notice, I've added a, a shader, a, a color to black and white uh, change here. Made, uh, made it a subtract and set it at 0. 0.5. And I got a really shiny hull. As a matter of fact, if you want to see what the render looks like, render looks kind of like this over here on the left-hand side. Here's that render. You can see the incredible shine on the uh, hull itself, but there's slight differences, less shine on the streaks and on some of the uh, rust ring and such. So I knew I was on the right track. So I toned down the value. So I've still got the Although, and here's why I think this works. Um, I, I desaturated my grayscale image for the uh, specular map, but it's technically it's still color. So I changed color to black and white and then hooked that up to our subtract and typed in 0 0.8 and, and pulled that into the factor. And you'll see now, that is less shiny, and over here is the render, but it was still too shiny for my taste. The, the Enterprise was never that shiny. And you can see where I had a, a light set up and, and had angled the camera just right to test it. <clears throat> and you can definitely see shine on the hull, shine on the registry, just like I wanted. No shine for the grid or less shine. Less shine for and progressively less shine. The more noise, uh, the more dirt there is, like there's our cloud texture for the rust ring, but there's these dark streaks which aren't shining at all. They're just, there's no shine or, or there's substantially less shine. So I knew, again, this was on the right track and I made a final adjustment. I took my subtract up to uh, 0.95 and you could barely see some of the uh, shine on the hull. That's similar to that semi-gloss that they had on the Enterprise. Now, I, I figured I was really on the right track because you can barely see the uh, grid here, right? And as a matter of fact, uh, I don't think you actually see much of the grid texture back here. You can see the, you can see the cloud for the uh, uh, space dirt and you can see where the shine is interrupted by the rust wing, ring and the streaks of dirt uh, and, and the grid. So what I actually think you're seeing wherever the grid is is probably most substantially that it's not shining any light off it's, it's, or, or shining substantially less than the hull. Of course, you can actually do this the other way around. If you like the effect but you think that the grid should be more metallic, then uh, you could make the hull essentially black, make the grid white lines for your, uh, uh, for your specular map, right? You're just inverting it. And then what would happen is you would get like no shine on the hull panels, but you would get shine on the grid, and it would make them look kind of silverish. And uh, I, I, I then applied that scheme to my neck, which I have textured. So this is the same model in the same setup. Uh, there is a very slight shine to the hull. And the more you let this render, uh, the more it, it tends to resolve. You can see where there's no shine back here on the space dirt. There's no shine where these dirt streaks are on the hull. And, of course, that's intentional. But there is a mild, like, satin finish to the hull now. And I have that, whoops, 
I have that. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right, I have that uh, on the neck and now on the engineering hull. Uh, ignore how incredibly bright uh, this banner is. I, I intend to play with that a little and get this uh, set up a little better. <clears throat> um, but I've got the exact same texture settings for the neck and the hull as I do on the uh, top of the primary saucer. You can even see some space dirt here. <clears throat> I've got more clouds covering this, so uh, the engineering deck. So there's a lot less shine. I'm not sure if it's the right way to go or not, but it's, I'm kind of happy with the, how this is turning out. I think when it's entirely textured. This will look pretty good, and I'm going to tone down the color uh, for the uh, red and uh, yellow. They should be the same as the yellow markings up top, the same color yellow. And you can see, again, this is actually even better. This really looks like, to my eyes, uh, the hull of the original 11-foot-long model. Uh, and over here, you can see where the shine is interrupted by the space dirt, end quote. Um, and uh, uh, so I'm pretty happy with uh, how this is turning out. And you've seen the settings uh, for the next real tutorial. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go into it in length, show you how we did the neck, how I did the neck, we, royal we, and then uh, and how to do uh, your your hull like this uh, we're going to have to add some uh, markings to the bottom and uh, to the uh, upper back but I think we're going to wind up texturing that I was wondering whether or not to recommend uh, decal machine to you guys which is probably a good idea but uh, I, I did promise that this whole thing could be done in freeware <clears throat> so I'll show you how to model some of the markings and we will apply them to our ship without texture, without uh, without decals, without extra software, no, no, not even any additional add-ons. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll turn out a, a model that you're uh, that you're happy with. Thanks for your attention, guys. I'll, I'll post a real tutorial uh, this weekend.